once a dare has been transformed into the most incredible display of brute horsepower in modern motorsports. Top little supercharged minis and 11,000 pound multiple engine drag rails. From the dirt and grime of mud racing to the uncontrollable horsepower of the monster trucks, it's the most powerful sport on earth. And it's back on the all new power tracks, bringing you the best of the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series. Sit back, buckle up, and get ready for the battle of the big gun. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the TNT Redman All-American Pulling Series. I'm Dave Grimm, along with Army Armstrong. We're going to be bringing you the action from the Hoosier Dome in Indianapolis, Indiana, as Nationwide Auto Park presents the Monster Truck Nationals and Dragster Tractor Competition in Army. Was any indication of the competition that we have here tonight, it's going to be spectacular. Well, I'll tell you what, Dave, they're from all over America. We've got all types of ending combination. We've got the Allison Aircraft Engine, the Aries Engine, the Rodax, the Meldons. Everybody's here. All the big guns are here. They'll be coming off of one side of the Hoosier Dome, and then we'll immediately bounce over to the other side during the Nationwide events for the monster trucks. And these guys are starting to actually fly these monster trucks now. By fly, we mean when they hit the ramp, they're jumping up in the air. So plenty of action coming away. The fine people with Nationwide are making it all possible in the Indianapolis area. Well, we're glad to be here. They're looking at a capacity crowd of over 30,000 people here in the Hoosier Dome. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the competition. Mad Dog, Bigfoot, Texas Toy, and Crimson Giant. All the big rigs are here tonight in the Hoosier Dome. Ten of the roughest, toughest monster trucks in the country. They're ready to face off over a torturous obstacle course of jumps and junker cars that would easily stop any normal vehicle. But not these super trucks. Ten will run, but only one will survive. We'll be right back with the first heat featuring Bigfoot and Pony Express. like a gunfight. If you win, you stay in. If you lose, you put it on a trailer and go home. Each week, you must defend the number one title, and Bigfoot has done it all year long. Here's Dave with Bigfoot driver Jim Kramer. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, as he turns around and takes off that collar. I want to ask you, Jim, I tell you, with the collar on, you must get bounced around in there quite a bit. Yes, we do. We take a heck of a beating these days. The tracks are getting faster and the trucks are getting better and the competition is getting stiffer and uh, it's taking its toll on its drivers. All right. Now, you've just won this first heat. You expect, of course, to win tonight. Who do you think is going to be your toughest competition here in the Hoosier Dome? Well, after the preliminary round, I think I got about three people there. Um, I won't mention their names right now. I don't want to give them an edge and <laughs> let them know I'm worrying about them. But uh, we got some good people here, my wife and family here. I'm going to try to do a good job for them. All right, Jim Kramer, the driver of Bigfoot, he wants to win it bad. Back to you, Army. Thank you very much. Bigfoot stays alive. Who comes out next? It'll be the Clydesdale Chevrolet going up against the Mad Dog. Watch for Breen to make a little bit stronger shot. Definitely capable of it. One of the lightest monster trucks on the circuit. The Mad Dog trying to stay alive with the heartbeat of America on the Red Man Tour. wins it. John Breen and his Chevy rig will advance to face Bigfoot in the next round. It is the biggest, the tallest, the heaviest, the longest truck on the Monster Truck Tour. Runs a diesel engine. That'll be the blue truck working off the left lane. Leslie Anderson doing the driving. He'll be going up against the Gold Dust Express of Herb Workmaster. Workmaster out of Michigan trying to make a name for himself in the sport. In order to do it, he must get back the by the long, tall Texan to advance to the next round. Hole shot, Gold Dust Express. Now watch the Texas toy start to make a move right about now. Texas toy. Now he runs a diesel engine 
I explained to you, does not have a lot of power, right? He has a lot of power, but doesn't have the torque to jump off the starting line. That's the way the truck drives. It drives best that way. He kind of rolls it about half the course and really starts to dial the horsepower in on the awesome Texas truck. At about three quarters track, it's exactly what he did that time. All right, climbing down out of the Texas toy cab, Leslie Anderson. Leslie, how about a big smile for the folks here in Indianapolis? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, well, you're a long way from home. I tell you, a great run. It's going to be tough competition here tonight in the Hoosier Dome. Yeah, it is. It's going to be real tough. All right, who do you think you're going to go up against in the next round? There's no telling. Well, you'd like to beat Bigfoot, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. Is he the man that every monster truck driver would like to beat? Yes, sir, it is. Everybody wants to beat Bigfoot. Why run a Detroit diesel? Uh, because I like diesel. like diesel? You think they can compete with the V8 uh, gasoline engines? Yes, sir. I just got to do a little bit more. All right, Leslie Anderson, the Texas toy. He'll be back. Scott Hess backing Hercules up to the starting position. He'll be running against Gentle Ben with Reed Thompson at the wheel. The winner will have his work cut out for him, meeting Texas Toy in the next heat. Hole shot by Hercules. Good land. Another good land. Look at this. Hercules really looking strong. Now Gentle Ben starts to come back. Hercules will take the win. So out of Auburn, Indiana, Scott Hess stays alive. Ben will go out of the building. Only the strong survive on the TNT Redman Tour. Here's Dave with the winning driver, Scott Hess. From Auburn, Indiana, Scott, congratulations. A good run. You looked a little reckless out there. What happened? Well, you, them dirt piles are really tough. You hit them and you never know where you're going to go. All right, what's the secret to winning this kind of competition here at the Nationwide Hoosier Dome event? Just hold to the floor and hope you stay on the track. Hold her to the floor, hopes he stays on the track. He'll be back. He'd love to beat Bigfoot here tonight. That's who you want to beat, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be nice. All right, Scott Hess from Northern Indiana. Back to you, Army. Representing the Chevrolet people in the Crimson Giant out of Missouri, going up against the Pearl, Mississippi native, Mr. Dale Harris. Now, last week, Charlotte, North Carolina, Harris finished in the number two spot with Casper. King Kong, another Texas board, won that event. Bigfoot was not in attendance, so Dale Harris knows he has the potential, but in order to do it, he has to nail Starvin' Marvin Smith to the starting line. Toyota versus Chevrolet, Indianapolis, Indiana. Who's it gonna be? Side by side, Mississippi, white Toyota, Missouri, red, Chevrolet. Starvin' Marvin are going against Dale Harris. They're waiting for a green light on the end of the track. Dale Harris backing Casper carefully into the starting position. It's vitally important that all four wheels be lined up straight for a good shot out of the hole. Both drivers waiting patiently on the starting line. Mike Snyder checks everything, looks for a green. Showtime, here we go, hole shot, Smith comes out. Smith takes the win for the Chevrolets. How about it, Chevrolet people? Marvin can hear you now. Let's give him a big round of applause, putting Chevrolet into the next round of eliminations out of Missouri. The Crimson Giant. Marvin Smith goes to Dave Grimm for his interview. All right, Marvin Smith climbing out of the cab of this big USA one today, Chevrolet. Marvin, come on in here. You've got to be really happy. A great run, and I'll tell you, it takes a while for you guys to get unbuckled out of the cab. It isn't like it was a couple of years ago, is it, Monster Truck Racing? No, it's entirely different now. You get all the safety equipment on. You've got to be strapped in. Neck braces, arm braces, helmets. It takes a while to get out of it. All right, at the same time, are you also building the trucks a lot uh, stouter and, and beefing them up a lot? Oh, definitely so. You know, every, every, every week you can see it. You change this, you change that. It gets a little bit better and better and better. Barbara Smith, you were awfully good here tonight. You think you can go all the way? I hope so. All right, who would you like to beat? Who, whoever's in second. All right, he wants to be number one. Marvin Smith from Arnold, Missouri. More Monster Truck Mania, direct from the Hoosier Dome. How many four people are there in this building? Where are my four people that are pulling for Bigfoot? How many people would like to see the big gun get shot down tonight? Shot down by the mad dog Chevrolet of John Breeze. Army, this is the show that everybody's been waiting for tonight. Breeze against Bigfoot. It'll be a showdown of Ford versus Chevrolet. It's anybody's ball game. Green wants to win it back. Both drivers watching for a green light on the end of the track. Watch for a hole.
Ball shot by the Chevrolet. Bream that can pull both triggers. He's got nothing to lose. Everything to gain for the Chevrolet. just kind of a preliminary run to get ready for the big boys because these guys did not come here to play they want to run hard so we got to run hard all right you ran on that left track it looks like the left track has been a real winner's track tonight you almost got pretty high on the back end when you came over the cars what happened then almost almost all right he wants to win it bad number one in the hearts of the people here at the nationwide hoosier dome event back to you army Next team will pit Leslie Anderson and his Texas toy against Scott Hess and Hercules. Scott is an Indiana boy and a real hometown favorite here tonight in Indianapolis. The crowd would love to see him put down the Texas four. an upset right there home state boy scott hess advances to the next round of eliminations putting anderson on the trailer who will be coming out in the next round of the monster trucks it looks like it'll be a mississippi vehicle dale harris now remember after this round you will have three winners in order to even to show up the quickest losing time will come back and fill in the fourth place spot Army Scott has got here with me at track side. Scott, you want to get the Texas toy. It was a battle right to the end. Congratulations on your win. Thank you very much. He's really tough. He, he gets going about halfway. <laughs> All right, you went awfully good tonight, too. You really got your foot into the accelerator. What's the secret of success here tonight to winning this Hoosier Dome event? To stay on the track. Stay on the track, put the foot in the throttle, and go like heck, right? That's right. <laughs> That's what he's going to do, go like heck. Back to you, Army. Thank you very much. Representing the Chevrolet camp out of Missouri, Marvin Smith. We call him Starvin' Marvin. He'll be driving the red Chevrolet, the Crimson Giant, setting off to his left on his left hip out of Pearl, Mississippi, ladies and gentlemen, the Casper, the Toyota, the number one Toyota monster truck in the country, Dale Harris doing the driving. You win, you stay alive. Only the quickest loser out of the four will be able to come back into the next round of eliminations. Texas Toy backing up, all being brought to you by the fine people from Hewler Chevrolet in the Nationwide Auto Parts Store. Hole shot! Oh, the Crimson Giants got to come back! Dale Harris put a hole shot on him, now the Chevrolet starts to move! Harris trying to work Chevrolet, Smith takes the win! So Dale comes back, Dale Harris laid a hole shot on Marvin Smith. Smith worked it back. All right, Army's climbing down from the truck right now. Marvin Smith from Arnold, Missouri, the driver of the Crimson John. Come on in here, Marvin. All right, tell them, everybody here in the Hoosier Dome on ESPN how you, how you won that round here tonight. Very carefully. <laughs> tough. <laughs> tough. Is it getting tougher with every round? It's getting tough out there. I came out of the hole behind him. I dropped the light late. I almost didn't catch him. I barely caught him on that. All right, now how important is to get off the line very quickly? It means everything. That means everything. If you come out of the hole and if you got enough horsepower, you stay ahead. But I came out behind him. I just had to floor it and hang on. All right, you're going to have enough horsepower to win this thing tonight? Well, let's hope so. <laughs> All right, Marvin Smith, he still feels confident. The first run of the semifinals, Indiana's own Scott Hess and Hercules versus Bigfoot. Chevrolet versus Ford, the kid going against the old-timer. The young kid trying to knock off the old gunfighter. The old gunfighter's Bigfoot hole shot by Hercules. Bigfoot comes out. Bigfoot stays alive. Hercules, Scott doing a fine job out of Auburn, Indiana. Not able to put the man away. Another awesome run by Bigfoot, but it may have taken a toll. The big Ford came down hard on the front wheels and something gave way under the impact. Jim Kramer is checking the front wheel drive shaft for damage. 
Let's go to Dave at Trackside and find out exactly what the problem is. So we've got Jim Kramer down here right now. Jim, all of a sudden, after your run, a lot of guys going underneath the truck. Did you break something? I broke the front drive shaft U joint. Uh, I can pull it out and run two-wheel drive if they'll let me do it. All right, well, I'll tell you, it's going to be a... Will you be able to do as well on a two-wheel drive as you would in a four-wheel drive? Well, if I can keep the truck on the ground, get my timing right, maybe. All right, Bigfoot with problems here tonight at the Hoosier Dome. He says he can come back in two-wheel drive and give it a good shot. Good luck, Jim. Thank you. Smith's truck's going during the month of December. It'll be in the paint shop of Bob Taylor's shop down in Louisville, Kentucky for a whole new candy brandy wine paint combination. Sitting next to him out of Corpus Christi, Texas, the diesel-powered vehicle, the Texas Toy. Now, remember, we explained a little bit ago about the toy, how it does not leap off the starting line, but when it goes over that second jump, it will have some ground speed and will come after you. Marvin Smith looks out the doors, making sure that everything, all the wheels are straight. Watch after the second jump. If the Texas toy is going to get him, he's got to come after him on the second jump. love you here at Indiana. Now, tell us, you look like you got off the line late, and then halfway through your run, you caught up, took the lead, and won. Tell us how it went. Yeah, it was kind of, you know, slow coming off the line. It's always slow coming off, but it always gains it up when it gets towards the end. Does the smoothness, your truck never is real radical. It doesn't bounce a lot. It seems to be real smooth. Does that help? Yeah, it does some, but it weighs so heavy. You know, you're talking about 23,780 pounds, something like that. And uh, it's just, you know, it's got to stick to the ground. Yeah, he's stuck to the ground, 23,000 pounds worth. He'll be back. This is the final heat of this monster truck shootout, Bigfoot going against Texas Toy. Bigfoot is running without power in the front wheels, and that's going to make the big Ford extremely hard to handle. Like the color blue and you like Fords, you gotta be tickled to death with this final, I tell you. How many people think Bigfoot can still win the championship? How many people think Texas Toy is gonna upset Bigfoot? Watch for a hole shot. Kramer's got to come out smoking. He'll pull both triggers off of that right lane. Watch it for the green light. Showtime. Here we go. Kramer comes out. Now, here comes a Texas toe. Oh, look at Kramer. Kramer goes over. It looks like oil running out at the front end. Bob Chandler is down here, the owner of Bigfoot. They've got the fire extinguishers. They had a small fire at the rear end of the vehicle. The cab is totally demolished. Unbelievable. Jim Kramer. Replay on the screen, Dave. Replay at this time on the screen. You might call it from there. You take it, Dave. All right, you can see Bigfoot really got high now when he goes over the cars. He got higher than he has ever been tonight. Now look at him really fly through the air on the replay. Look how high he is. As he comes down, he'll take a big bounce. He'll take a very big bounce, and we'll try to get a word in with him. Right there he goes, just like a bucking bronco out there. And she went up and over. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the driver. I have him down here for a trackside interview, Jim Kramer. First thing I want to ask, has this ever happened in the history of Bigfoot monster truck competition? I rolled it over inside once, the first time I ever rolled it over forward. Uh, I really had to apologize. Uh, had to apologize to Bob Chandler for doing that to his truck. I didn't have a front drive shaft, as you know. I couldn't get on the gas and help myself out of a bad situation. Uh, I got up in there, I played the odds, I lost. Did you at, at any time ever touch the brakes? No, that's the really worst thing I could have done. It would have very, been a very violent rollover had I done that. I tried to let it coast out, but there was so much momentum and my tail end was coming over the top. 
that had I touched the brakes, it would have just thrown me over. So the best thing I could do is ride it out, which I did. I just didn't have enough uh, going for me, I guess. Well, I'll tell you, we're just glad that you're standing right next to me right now. It's really demolished the, the top. We saw fuel, we saw oil running out. They're gonna right side the truck back up. I know you're very nervous right now. We're just glad you're here right now. We can always replace the trucks, but we can't replace the drivers. And Jim, always a great show. With Ladies and gentlemen, he's down here. He's alive and well. There he is, Jim Cramer, Bigfoot. Jim Cramer. He's a little shaken right now, Army, but he's just glad that he's alive. He crawled out pretty, pretty easily. We're gonna try to get a word in with Bob Chandler now. They're pulling Bigfoot over now, and we'll be able to see just how bad the damage is. Jim Cramer is a very lucky man to have been able to walk away from that one. Down at trackside, Dave is talking with Bob Chandler, the man who created Bigfoot, the original monster truck almost 15 years ago. If he would have had his front wheel, front wheel drive, he would have pulled out even fine. But we pulled out to finish his race, and that just blew it. He really flew over the cars that last time. That's Jim style, though. He does good. He likes to go all out for it. So crowd likes it. He likes doing it. So. Well, we didn't expect this. I thought it was a real crowd pleaser, but uh, please don't do it again. I don't want to. Thank you. Bob Chandler, ladies and gentlemen, the man that came up with Bigfoot way back in 1973, right down here at Trackside. They have now six puppets all together. These are the pursuit of power continues in February on Power Tracks with the Red Man TNT All American Pulling Series. See your favorite pullers plus Bigfoot, Stomper, and the country's hottest monster trucks in daring and unpredictable drag racing style eliminations. Coming up in February on Power Tracks here on ESPN. February also marks the second month of the 1988 Redman TNT Winter Nationals. The action continues in Hampton, Virginia, Salt Lake City, Utah, Shreveport, Louisiana, and Chattanooga, Tennessee. Then moves on to Houston, Texas with the Redman TNT Super Nationals and the Farm Machinery Show Tractor Pull in Louisville, Kentucky. Two big events, the 19th, 20th, and 21st in Niagara Falls, New York, and Birmingham, Alabama. Finally, February action wraps up in Montgomery, Alabama, the 26th and 27th. It's all coming your way in February with the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series. Look for it. Army Armstrong, I am speechless. I can hardly talk. The competition has been wild and woolly. And I, with that flip at the end, I've never seen anything quite like it. Well, you know, it's, it's amazing. Nationwide, the sponsor of this TNT Redman event, the, the monster trucks, as we said at the opening, they're getting wilder and wilder each week as we go around the country on the Redman tour. So what can you say? Each week it gets bigger, it gets better, it gets wilder. I'm just glad to be part of it, David. I Rick. think we should tell everybody at home that certainly these rollovers aren't planned by any means. Uh, by no means. This is, what, three weeks? weeks in a row that we've had something similar to this. All the drivers are okay. The safety equipment comes in handy, but it just shows you the caliber of competition we have. These fellas are here to win, and whatever it takes to win, that's what they're going to do. Jim Kramer gave a tremendous job tonight. It just didn't work out for him. He was the first one to say, I made a mistake. Well, it was wild and woolly. We hope you've enjoyed the competition. And now for Army Armstrong, I'm Dave Grimm. We'll see you next time on the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Circuit. So long, everybody. Supercharged two-wheel drive truck wheel stands and tenacious 4x4s digging in. More horsepower than you have ever witnessed in action. We'll be back next week with more of the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series. Be there and experience the thrill of the most powerful sport on earth.